artificial sweetener in your tea, coffee or food thinking that it will be beneficial for your overall health. Well, I do it too but it may be a time for us to stop doing that. The World Health Organization has highlighted some long-term effects associated with artificial sweetness. The agency's recommendation is based on the systemic review of scientific literature highlighting these potential side effects. The WHO warns that non-sugar sweetness may not aid in the long-term reduction of body fat and could, with prolonged use, increase the risk of type 2 diabetes cardiovascular disease and premature death. Well, I'm not here to sensationalize this information, but I'm here to make you understand what WHO is exactly saying and how we need to process this information. First of all, the most important thing to understand here is that WHO is not asking you to replace these non-sugar alternatives with sugar itself. It is asking you to reduce the sweetness in your overall food and diet. The WHO director even highlighted that people should rather go for unsweetened food or fruits with naturally occurring sugar. Another important thing to understand here is that even though some people may be required to reduce their dependence on artificial sweetness, people who have diabetes should continue using that because it is actually beneficial for them. So accept this information on sugar with a pinch of salt. It is specifically for those who use sweetener packets commonly used in coffee as well as other wide range of sugar substitutes added by food companies to process food and beverages like your diet soda, bread, cereals, yogurts and snack bars. Some commonly mentioned non-sugar sweetness by the WHO mentioned are acesulfame, aspartame, advantame, cyclamates, neotame, saccharin, sucralose, stevia and stevia derivatives. The research on sweetness has evolved over time. Recently, new research published in the journal Nature Medicine has revealed a connection between erythritol, a common non-sugar sweetener, and an elevated risk of heart attack, blood clotting, stroke, and mortality. The reason why it is important to highlight this non-sugar alternative is because it is as sweet as 70% sugar but it contains only 6% of calories. This makes it a popular option for zero calorie beverages. Just to be clear, WHO's recommendation do not include personal and hygiene products like your toothpaste or medicines with non-sugar alternatives. So when it comes to your dietary preferences, it is always recommended that you look at the evidence, talk to your healthcare professional and then take a decision on how much to consume and what to consume. So here is the deal. These artificial sweeteners in the right amount can actually help those who need it, like people with diabetes. But we do need a sweet spot to figure out who needs it and how much. Maybe as the research continues, we would figure that out. Until then, have a sweet time. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.